Hey, this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Thursday. Uh, today, in our fish segment of our YouTube channel, what we're going to be talking about is, um, well, it's actually related to what's been going on with me lately. Um, as you can tell, I have lost some weight because of it. Uh, and that's because of my diabetes. And the diabetes, uh, honestly, I really didn't take care of it as I should have, and that's the truth. And uh, the reality is that 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 it that it just kind of took the better of me, but now uh, it is, it is better because I am taking better hold of it, and I and I anticipate in the future I will take better hold of it. And uh, that's this happened because I do remember uh, some time ago, probably about a month, month and a half ago, I had I had some type of respiratory sickness, and and I had taken uh, cough medicine that was for regular people, not for diabetics, and that's really what caused all this. So. Why do I bring this up? Because I was thinking about fish. Since this is a fish segment, I was thinking, well, I could do this, I could do that, I could do the other thing. But I said, let's continue with the theme of illness. If you recall on my archives, I do have a fish illness playlist. And I actually had to look it up myself. And you see the playlist actually has a helicopter view of, uh, of illnesses that fish can get. Because people mostly think, oh, fish, they live, they die, move on. Uh, not the case. They are living creatures and do, they do get sick. So, um, I actually looked at my YouTube notebook. I want you to think it's a made up thing. This was my YouTube notebook that I've had now just about two years. And you can see I, ge I genuinely do take all kinds of notes, all kinds of craziness here. And in my fish segment, here's my little college segment somewhere around there. I do have fish diseases or illnesses and I crossed out the first one, ick. That is what we're gonna be talking about. It's also called white spot disease but it's no, normally called ick. And uh, right now I have uh, nine specific, that's why I'm gonna use segment one, uh, nine specific diseases for fish. I'm not gonna go in order, I just kinda bounce around, but I definitely wanna, because this was something that happened to me. I got sick and and, and so, uh, you know, let's, let's talk about how fish get sick. And so this is segment one of fish illnesses. I'm sure there's more than nine diseases. But these are nine that, that I know of, and I, I may keep snooping around to see what I got. So again, courtesy of my friend Canva, the fish illness segment one is called Ick. I-C-H, Ick. And you'll see here, oh, we're gonna look at what is it, what are the symptoms, and the remedy. We're gonna try to keep this short and sweet. And the same thing, you should try to keep Ick short and sweet because it kind of looks like that, also known as white spot disease. And you need to treat it fast. It's not something you go, hey, look at where you got it. You need to diagnose it and act quickly. So what is it? It is an external parasite. So it's some in the water. It is a parasite in the water that you do not see and it attaches to the fish's body and shows as white spots. It could be anywhere, and I think I may mention this later in the video, anywhere on the fish. So it looks like white spots. And after these white spots, after it feeds on the fish, it will fall off, like it literally, it'll, boop, it'll fall right off, and it will replicate and break into hundreds of new parasites and that will seek a new host or the same fish, therefore, that's why you see many spots. So it, it's a quick process and it will it will literally, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it will suck the, the life out of the fish because it is a parasite feeding off of your fish. As you can see, literally, it is it is the it is feeding off your fish. And those are and that is what it is. Now, what are the symptoms of ick? It will look like sprinkled salt on the fish, uh, sp and spots will spread rapidly. As I mentioned, time is money in this case because they will replicate rapidly as they fall and that they will reproduce and it will continue to attach to the fish. And I'll, I'll take these pictures in a second. Uh, it causes loss of appetite because obviously it's being, your fish is being attacked, so it's not really gonna be hungry. You see rapid breathing. It'll be moving its mouth up, uh, open and shut quite quite quickly. And the fish will start rubbing against surfaces, probably harder surfaces, trying in an attempt to try to get those things off them. And it will be tired because naturally it's being attacked. And it will seek refuge and hide. 
And as you can see here, my, my cartoon fish here, it is sad because it, it is constantly being bombarded with these, with these white spots, also known as these parasites. And as you can see, I really like this picture that I found because not only does it, you can see it really does, it does attack every part of the fish. Uh, even the gills right there, the eyes, you see the eyes right there, top of the fish uh, on its fins. But you see here a healthy fish, that will not be a healthy fish for long because these will pop off these white spots and find themselves on this fish as well. So it is definitely a, it's, it's really an epidemic. It's a, so you really, you gotta act fast when you see this situation. Now, when we got the remedy uh, right here, the remedy, there's many remedies on the market. You'll see here that this is a rapid cure and it says ick disease. You will see over here, it'll say white spot cure. You gotta know that white spot refers to ick. And in, in general, because it is a parasite, you may say, hey, let's make sure and take care of all the parasites that may be in the water. So it's really up to you. I'm not here to tell you what you should get or shouldn't get, but you do need an ick medication and follow the directions. Now, the key here following directions, I am Hispanic. One of the, um, what's the word, the, the stereotypes of Hispanic is they do not follow directions and they say, oh, what's a little bit more, a little bit more is always means less. I mean, always means better, better, more, less, more, better. No, no, follow the directions. Whatever the directions say, that's what you do. Not less, not more, follow them to the T. Then 24 hours do one third water change. Do not do half. Do not dump out everything in the tank. Do not use soap and water. Do not use whatever, you know, so-and-so said. One third or even less than one third is more than enough because you want to keep that medication in the water. Keep doing the water change each day, each day, and use the medication as directed. So you may need to, to fiddle around with this, this uh, instruction that I'm giving you here based on whatever, and these are just three examples. There are tons and tons of remedies out there. Choose something that you are comfortable with uh, because it's your fish. And make sure that you keep doing that water change and use the medication as directed. And once it's all taken care of, then once it's cured, one more water change to be sure the parasites are gone because these are tough, tough little white spots or parasites. You want to be double, double, triple check that those parasites are gone. So that is why one more water change. And again, that's why we're only doing one third and not dumping out the tank. You remember, you do have bacteria in your tank and you do not want to completely upset what's going on within your tank. Keep it, keep it short, following the directions, doing the one third water change. Keep doing it each day until and use the medication as directed and do one, do one last water change to make sure everything is taken care of, but you must act fast. And once happily your fish are now healthier, as I thank God I'm healthier, one word of caution, your surviving fish, because it may kill a few fish uh, that you just, you just couldn't make it because it's, it literally sucked the life out of them, uh, these parasites. Their surviving fish may have sores on them and you may need to treat that as well medically. So you see here, I found a couple of things here with the beta fish. You see lead that, that is a cured fish, but you can see it is lethargic and kind of beat up. And you see the sores there because of what was left over. And the same here with this example, it is cure. You don't see the white spots, but it is beaten up and it may need, be, it may need some, uh, some help. And so you may need some medication for that as well. Keep your eyeballs peeled for that. And my dear YouTube people, that's all I got. That's how it is. That's nice and easy. Just as uh, I took precautions and medications and am taking medications for my diabetes. And I did for that cold that I had, for that infection I had. Same thing. It is a living creature. Fish are living creatures. They, they, they don't just go from healthy to death. You know, you, they're, they're, you, you need to be aware and cognizant of what's going on with your fish. And that is really one of the common, common uh, illnesses. So look at it, take care of it. And once you take care of it, you'll know what to, how, to, how to treat it in the future. So 
This is the Weedy Fresh.